Hey guys, so in this module of the free course that I am doing on my YouTube channel, teaching people how to do email marketing, brands and agencies, whatever, how to do email marketing for your Shopify brand on Klaviyo, we're gonna be covering exactly how to build a welcome series. So first of all, I'm gonna explain what it is, what you need prior to building it, and how to actually build one itself within Klaviyo. I'm also gonna show you how to upload one of our old designs onto Klaviyo so you know exactly how to actually build the email email out inside of the account. So without further ado, let's uh, let's jump into it. Now, before I get started in terms of showing you guys exactly what to do on the email side of things, like how to actually turn this design and put it into Klaviyo and all of the different things, you need to understand if you're a brand and you're working with another agency outside of myself and they're charging you some sort of performance, whatever, you need to be aware to not pay them performance on the welcome series. Why? Because I'll be honest, like the welcome series by far is always gonna be the highest performing flow out of most flows that we build most of the time just because it's basically web traffic who have already shown a lot of interest in the brand signing up to the pop-up and then getting this series. So I would say at least about half of the revenue coming from the welcome series have nothing to actually do with the welcome series. Those are conversions that would have happened already and that's just me being like honest basically but essentially the welcome series is going to generate a shit ton of revenue for you on the front end at least it's going to appear so but in reality reality, the revenue generator is not actually that that much extra. It's going to be a nice amount extra, but I'm just saying like there's a lot of over attribution within Klaviyo. So just pay attention to that. If your current agency is charging you performance on that, like you should, you know, probably fire them. If you're a good agency, you don't really do that. Anyways, let's dive into it. So this is a welcome series, just three emails real quick that we did maybe like eight, nine months ago for a brand that was kind of launching in the, they're pretty big in the European market. They did like collaborations with like Georgina Rodriguez, like uh, Ronaldo's wife or girlfriend, I can't remember. But yeah, like this is essentially the designs. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to build out this flow inside of Klaviyo. So first things first, you're gonna need two things, right? You're gonna need a list and you're gonna need a pop-up. Now for the pop-up, if you don't have one or not, at, at, or at least not a high converting one, you should really look at the previous module in this free course that I just did, where I show you exactly how to build a pop-up that looks much, much better than the default templates that are available on Klaviyo. However, if you already have a high converting pop-up, just make sure it's connected to the right list and we'll kind of dive into it. Now, first thing you need is you need to identify which list your pop-up is connected to. So in this case, we're gonna use the demo list, which is agency newsletter. So then we're gonna go into Klaviyo and we're gonna hit create a flow. So I'm just gonna use this template that my team member created a while ago, but essentially what it is, is it's this right here. So first things first, when it comes to building the flow, you're gonna wanna go into the flows section of your Klaviyo account and you're just gonna hit create a flow, right? Upon clicking this, you're gonna be taken to something like this. Now you can use some of the default Klaviyo templates and just repo populate the content, but for the purposes of this entire free course, I'll just show you our like best practice kind of basic flow structures. So we're gonna click over here and click build your own, and we're just gonna call this Plethora Welcome Series. Okay, and then we're gonna hit create a flow. And then now, and now we're gonna configure a trigger. So the trigger for the welcome series that we're gonna to wanna to use is add it to list, and we're gonna select agency newsletter because that was the list that was connected to the pop-up, right? It's, make, it's very important that you guys have the same list. And then for profile filters, I like to just do someone has or has not done placed order since starting this flow, boom. Because if they placed an order, you wanna take them out of this flow and put them in the customer thank you and the post purchase series, right? So that's what we like to do. We're gonna hit save and it's basically done. You have the filters, you have the right triggers and now it's time to build out the flow itself. In terms of the content of the flow, the, the purpose is essentially welcoming and introducing someone to your brand. And how you actually customize the content is you need to understand where the traffic is actually coming from, right? So for example, if your traffic is coming only from organic, the process for someone coming from organic is always, they watch multiple pieces of your content and then they finally go onto your website and then after visiting your website a few times, they might choose to subscribe because they're a bit more serious about purchasing from you. So most likely the traffic there 
there coming to your welcome series is gonna be a lot more educated around your brand, around your products, etc., versus someone coming from cold traffic like Facebook ads where it's their first time clicking onto your website, right? So depending on the traffic source, that's how you can kind of determine what type of content to actually serve to your audience. So for this brand specifically, they already had a lot of brand presence within Europe, right? So it was very much just like introducing the product very briefly and you don't necessarily need to go into like founder stories, etc., etc. It's more just about delivering the offer and getting people to convert on the front end, right? So depending on the type of traffic that's primarily coming from your website is what's gonna lead to you determining what type of content you wanna feature. But there is some kind of like best practice that applies across the board. So for example, one of the biggest things is you wanna feature the offer that was promised in the pop-up above the fold, right? So even if you're doing some sort of giveaway offer on the pop-up, in the actual first section above the fold just means what you can see without needing to scroll, right? In that section, you should have the offer clearly visible. Or even if it's a giveaway, you just say, hey, you're entered into this giveaway, these are the terms, this is when we're gonna draw the winners, et cetera, how it's gonna be announced, right? And then you're gonna follow up with probably some like brand U USPs or brand benefits or something that summarizes the brand really well. As you can see, it summarizes like the hair supplements right here, right? And in terms of design layouts and stuff, I want you to guys, I want you guys to always bear in mind to try to design for mobile layouts. So the reason why we didn't stack like these three USPs um, side by side is because on mobile then we would have had to make the fonts very small, right? So that's why we had a vertical stack and then we featured some of the celebrities that are backing the product like Rodrigo's girlfriend, etc. And we make sure to have the discount code already created. Now, when it comes to uploading this and putting it inside a Clavio, I know a lot of people say this is against best practice, but honestly, if you do everything else right when it comes to deliverability, it's not going to matter matter whatsoever. Like it really, really does not matter. Everyone that comments under my YouTube videos that saying, oh yeah, like doing it like this is gonna screw with deliverability. They just don't know what they're doing, right? Anyways, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's actually build the rest of the flow itself. So when it comes to the flow itself, you're gonna generally wanna have three emails. I'm just gonna drag in three emails right here and we're gonna drag in some time delay. So for this flow specifically, we're not gonna want a time delay at the top of the email obviously, because as soon as they sign up, we wanna hit them with the email right away. Second time delay should be one to two days. You can, it just depends on how conservative you wanna be, but also how many campaigns you do. If you do a lot of campaigns, I would recommend setting the time delay slightly longer. If you don't do that many campaigns, one day is plenty. So in this case I'm just gonna do one day don't delay until specific time of day I know a lot of people tend to do that you don't need to delay it until specific days of the week either so we're just gonna set one day and we're gonna drag another time delay between t email two and three and we're just gonna configure that to be anywhere from two to three days so again like two to four it just depends on how conservative you want to be so we're gonna do three days right here boom click off now in terms of email one, I'm only gonna show you how to upload one of the emails. In terms of the other emails, like it's literally the same process. The thing that you gotta be very careful of is you wanna hit skip recently sent email profiles and you wanna turn that off. Now this is called smart sending and what this basically prevents is people who sign up recently and then they're receiving a ton of campaigns from you, a ton of abandoned checkout emails from you. And by ticking this, if they've received something from you recently, their profile is then skipped. I don't personally like to enable this for all of my flows. I think it's kind of, I mean, you know, as soon as they sign up, they expect an email, so definitely don't have this for email one. Email two and three, it's kind of debatable depending on the volume, but generally I like to make sure they're turned off as well. So in order to turn them off, you want to just untick this and hit save, untick this and hit save, and untick this especially and hit save, boom. Now, when it comes to the actual subject lines and the templates, so first things first, I always like to type in the subject line in first. In this case, because the design says it's a 20% off offer, then it's just like, hi from Ivy Bears, get 20% get off first order. 
Something like this, or like open to reveal your 20% discount. Something along the lines of that, right? And now we're gonna start by building the email template itself. So we're gonna click select template. And personally, I don't like to have any of the default Klaviyo templates. I think this is all for noobs and it just looks awful, honestly, that's what it is. So I'm just gonna hit basic layout and under basic layout, we're gonna do a single column and we're just gonna use template. A life hack is just save a image only template and it's gonna save you a bunch of time in the future. But essentially I'm gonna click here, boom, use template. And I'm just going to delete a bunch of the stuff. So I'm going to delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete, 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 delete the buttons as well. And all that I should be left with is basically just this. Social media buttons, make sure to link that to the right sections, Instagram, etc. You can actually do this by default if you go into your Klaviyo settings and under organizational info, you just upload all of your social links. In the future, this will auto populate. You can also customize this to like your brand's aesthetic as well. So you don't actually have to just use the default ones, but we're gonna leave that for maybe another module in this free course. But essentially what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to drag in a image block and then in the alt text it's just use code welcome 20 maybe something like that and then like welcome to ivy bez the actual alt text is not super important that you make it grammatically correct but it's basically just to have something that in case the image itself doesn't necessarily load so then we're going to go into upload image and we're gonna go to upload right here. And we're just gonna select the template that I just exported, right? So while it's uploading, I'm just gonna explain to you guys what would you do if like you need multiple slices, right? So when it comes to uploading images, the time when you need to slice differently is when you're promoting two products or multiple CTAs in the same image block. So let's say, right, this is claim your offer, so we're driving to some sort of product page, but, here, under the social media handles, we're trying to link to these girls' Instagrams, right? In which case, we would export this top section as one slice, this bottom section as another slice, and these sections as three individual slices and upload them in a table so that we can link Sylvie's Instagram, Georgina's Instagram, and Cassie's Instagram separately. Now, if you don't know how to do this, then just watch my how to build a email in Klaviyo video. It's gonna be already uploaded as a part of this free course on my channel. So just, you know, go to my channel and find that playlist and you'll be able to learn exactly how to build the different blocks when it comes to email marketing. But you can see like this looks pretty decent, right? And if I were to just add a CTA in here, just make sure to link to the product page or the collections page. In this case, it will probably be the collections page because they sell multiple vitamins. However, if you're a single product store, if you're a high level dropshipper watching this, running individual product stores, then I would recommend just link it to your bestseller product page the mistake that you don't want to make is linking it to the home page of your brand, right? Another thing is don't like make this mistake of not creating your discount codes. If you're working with an agency, always double check that they've done the discount code themselves or you've gone ahead and done it because the amount of clients that I've like picked up and audited their accounts and I just saw that their discount code was actually never created in Shopify and they're wondering why they're like, conversion rate sucks on the welcome series, it's, it's absurd. But anyways, so essentially this is basically done and once the link is in place, you are good to go. Now, if you were to use some of Klaviyo's templates, what you might notice is if you scroll all the way to the bottom, padding is enabled. So if I have like, I don't know, 30 padding on the left and the right, let's, let's see, so we're gonna do padding or whatever. Um, you can see that the cutoff becomes quite aggressive, right? So always double check and make padding zero because that way your designs would look really nice with no borders or anything like that. Now, before you send, like save this and push this live, you wanna hit preview and test and you're just gonna go ahead and send yourself a test. Make sure to check on mobile and check all of the CTAs to make sure it's leading to the right places and you're basically good to go. Right, you're gonna hit save. And you're gonna go ahead and configure the other emails, but this one right here is pretty much done.
right? So once all of the emails are done and dusted, you can go ahead and go here and review and turn on flow in terms of setting all of the action statuses to live. Now, one thing I do want you to be wary of is when it comes to the list, make sure double opt-in is disabled and you go and you do this by going into the list settings, going into consent, and then just going into here and making sure it's single opt-in. By default on Klaviyo, double opt-in is selected. So if you're working with a subpar agency, they probably have double opt-in still not toggled off, right? Super important that this is done. By the way, if you want to see 250 free Klaviyo email designs, feel free to subscribe to my newsletter, link in the description, and I'll send you that as like an opt-in bonus along with a ton of other e-com resources completely for free just for joining my newsletter. And if you're an e-com brand watching this and you just watch this video and you realize like, actually I'm gonna, I don't have the time to create 20, 30 email content pieces, upload them on Klaviyo, configure them all in the right way, feel free to book in a call with me. I'm happy to do a deep dive into your Klaviyo account and give you very precise projections in terms of how much revenue we can do for you and uh, hopefully take over the email marketing for your brand as well. So I hope you guys found this module useful and do stay subscribed because I have a ton more email marketing modules coming out as a part of this free course that I'm doing to basically improve the education in the space and also show people that like we are really good at what we do and attract more brands to work with us essentially. So, you know, if you're a freelancer or agency watching this, feel free to join the ride and learn for free. See you in the next one.